Hi folks, I'm just going to show you, this is my latest jaw grinding setup. I made this uh, tool post grinder, if you want to call it that. Basically it's a spindle running off a Dremel type tool that I made a um, pulley for. I made a belt. Belt's a little long because I can turn it around and change the direction. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. Whoops, sorry. Now, if the if you change the belt, I'm sure most of you people know this, but if you twist it like this, it changes the direction of the rotation. And it's better to have it rotating this direction because these two guys are spinning opposite direction. I could change that too but this is easier. I just don't want to run it for a long time because this belt rubs and it gets a little too hot. <clears throat> takes a while but it gets a little too warm. This makes a lot of noise when I turn it on so you won't be able to hear much. Over here Notice I have a nut. I have nuts carefully placed in the jaws um, so I can tighten the jaws put tension on them. You got to put tension on the jaws when you grind them. These jaws are just nuts. I put bluing on there. I don't know if you can see from there but that one hasn't been touched yet. Those two that one just got touched and that one's been ground in pretty much and they they touch more as you go in deeper which is the opposite of what it I mean could be I mean opposite if it's gonna if there's gonna be a taper to the jaws it should be tighter on the outside than it is the inside but that's that okay so we got we got good light. It's going to be loud. Uh, get this up here. I just made a cut, so I got to go in just a little bit here. I got this going. Don't want that running too fast. I'm going to have the feed on, automatic feed. But with it running this slow, it's going to feed real slow. Forgot to tell you, that's a diamond burr, about, uh, I'd say 150 grit, 120 grit, something like that. And um, <clears throat> this is running, my guess is that that's running about 2,500 RPMs, this.
I went the wrong way. I, I turned that in, but I'm grinding against the inside, so I gotta go the other way with it. I'm just gonna back this out. Okay, now you can hear it touching. Let me give it a little more knot. All right, now this, might as well tell you more about this. This is a Black & Decker RTX. It's like a Dremel. Um, it's got a, I think it's a 930 seconds by 40 thread. So I, I tap the inside to that so it'll screw on the shaft instead of the uh, chuck, the little chuck. And this, I got bearings on both sides. This is hollow. It's about, I think it's, I think that's about 35 millimeters, I forgot. Then I made these, uh, this pulley, it's got two sizes. I can put it there to run it faster. Then I got to make a smaller belt. I'm, I'm going to make, I ordered some, this is four millimeter polyurethane belt. And if you guys never use polyurethane belt, you buy it in a, in a, you know, just chunks and you splice it. You heat up a razor blade or something. I heated up a thin plate of copper to heat up, to melt the ends and then poke them together and hold them together for a minute or two and they uh, fuse. And these belts are remarkably strong. They really are. They're really amazing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to use them in place of V-belts. I can have a V-belt running my drill press. This is 4 millimeter. I have 6 millimeter also. That's strong enough to run that uh, drill press. Regular size drill press. And I ordered some three millimeter because this is actually a little too big. If I have it a little narrower, um, this r won't rub where it crosses here so much. And um, so that's what that is. This is uh, screwed into this aluminum plate. Um, this particular unit, the neck, is. Um, uh, three, a standard three-quarter inch thread, um, not fine, it's regular, forget the name of it, but in, or the size, I think it's, I don't, I don't remember, three-quarters by 11 or something, but um, <clears throat> anyway, I just tapped that and screwed that in there, that's all it's holding it on, it does, it does, it's pretty rigid, it doesn't take anymore. And the rest of this is just blocking it up. So I'm going to turn it back on again. This is where I obviously my my nut is thick, finicky. You got to get it on the right. Side.
I forgot to say this is a ER11 collet. I just bought a ER11 collet and, and shaft. Pretty cheap actually. It was about $15. And I got a set of collets for cheap collets for real cheap also. I think the whole rig cost me about. The, to build this whole, what you might call a two post grinder, took it cost for, for uh, materials two bearings there, an aluminum, and the, the collet thing costs, I don't know, less than $30 for the whole rig, I think. So let's see, is there anything else I should say? I guess that's about it. I got her ground to where I want it. I don't want to take much off. Just enough so that uh, it's, it's right. That's all. So anyway, that's the rig. Thanks for watching.